Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if the Windows settings reset to default on reboot and how to fix it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run SFC and DISM scans. To do this press the Windows button then type in CMD then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here make sure to copy paste the following commands from the description below but press enter after each command. Afterwards note that the scans can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Just restart your computer after it's done and then you can check if the problems still persist. Moving on another useful solution is to run the startup repair. To do this press the windows button then head over to the settings icon now click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery category and click on it. Now what you have to do is hit the button next to restart now in the advanced startup category and when your PC reboots just select troubleshoot then move on by clicking on advanced options and then select startup repair. From here on just follow the on-screen steps to complete the automatic startup repair process. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to fix your user profile. To do this press the windows button then simply type regedit and select registry editor from the search result. Now in the registry editor window make sure to navigate to the following path. H key local machine, then expand software, Afterwards scroll way down until you find Microsoft and in here scroll down until you find Windows NT and simply expand it and lastly make sure to expand profile list and from here on you have to do a specific thing and you have to pay attention. You can see that you have all these key folders. Make sure to go through all of them and locate the profile image path path. So just make sure to click on each of these keys until you will find your username. For example, this is my username. So this is my profile image path that I'm looking for and want to modify the settings for. What you have to do in here is double click on state and change the value data from one to zero. Now click on okay. And you can do the same for ref count if you have it in here. If you don't have it, right click on an empty space on the right side, hover over new and select the D word value. Now simply type ref count double click on it and instead of one just type in zero and click on OK. Now what you have to do is simply restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to uninstall the recently installed update. To do this press the windows button, head over to the settings icon, now click on windows update on the left pane and then on the right side select the update history category. Now scroll way down until you will find uninstall updates category and make sure to uninstall the latest windows update. Now what you have to do is restart your computer after uninstalling and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to perform a system restore. To do this press the windows button then simply type rstrui and select it as a run command from the search results. Now in here make sure to choose a different restore point and click on next and then select the earliest restore point before the problem occurred. Now click on next and afterwards the last thing you have to do is click on the finish button to start the restoration procedure. Afterwards the process will start and then after the process is finished your computer will be restarted and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!